body children. Earth is just like our home and we must make efforts to keep it clean and clean. On the occasion of the World Environment Day, let us promise to make our planet a better place to live. Congratulations to the students of Class 9 for making this presentation. Happy World Environment Day. to a planet is the belief that someone else would save. Greetings to one and all. We have gathered here to celebrate the World Environment Day 2021. So, why is World Environment Day celebrated? World Environment Day is celebrated every year on the 5th of June. It is the principal way through which the United Nations initiates worldwide events about the environment and enhances political attention and action. Since its beginning in 1974, World Environment Day has developed into a global platform for raising awareness and taking actions on urgent issues from marine pollution and global warming to sustainable consumption and wildlife crime. The theme for World Environment Day 2021 is ecosystem restoration. Let us understand what is ecosystem restoration and why is there a need to conserve and restore our ecosystems. Now sit back and enjoy this bit presented by students of class 9. This kit has four characters Sonali, Sally, Ramo and Viraj. A group of four friends meet to play together but Sally has a project and needs a friend's help to complete it. Hello friends. Hello. Hi. How are you? We are fine. Sally, you have been quite busy these days. What have you been doing lately? I have been researching about our environment these days for my school project on world environment. What is it about? It's about our ecosystem and how it is imbalanced. So I need your help for this project. Yeah, sure. How can we help you? I've been collecting points from everyone about how there's an imbalance in our ecosystem by human interference. I need you all to contribute as well. What is the reason for the imbalance in the ecosystem? The main reason for imbalance in nature is human interference, pollution of air, water and soil, the degradation of natural resources such as soil erosion, deforestation, shortage of energy and depletion of mineral resources is the main effect of human interference. What is imbalance in the ecosystem? The ecological imbalance is when a natural or human caused disturbance disrupts the natural balance of an ecosystem. A disturbance is any change that causes a disruption in the balance of an ecosystem. Like volcanic eruptions are an example of natural disturbances. So does anyone have an idea on how a balance can be maintained in the ecosystem? A concerted effort to use natural resources in a sustainable manner will help to protect and maintain ecological balance. Restoring our nature which has been degrading as well as conserving those that are still intact is known as ecosystem restoration. Ecosystem restoration means assisting in the recovery of ecosystems that have been destroyed or degraded as well as conserving the ecosystems that are still intact. Healthy ecosystem with richer biodiversity yield greater benefits such as more fertile soil, bigger yield of timber and fish, and large storage of greenhouse gases. Ecological restoration aims to recreate, initiate, or accelerate the recovery of an ecosystem that has been disturbed. Disturbances are the environmental changes that alter ecosystem structure and function. Restoration can happen in many ways. For example, through acting with planting or by removing pressures so that the nature can recover on its own. It's not always possible or desirable to return an ecosystem to its original state. We still need farmland and infrastructure on land that was once forest. And ecosystems, like societies, need to adapt to a changing climate. 
successful ecosystem restoration projects have included eradicating invasive species, replacing turf grass with native species, planting rain gardens to absorb rainwater, running off roofs or asphalt, monitoring pond and lake habitats, and preparing reports on findings to government authorities, repairing and replanting wetlands, creek beds, forest land, and other habitats. All kinds of ecosystems can be restored, including forests, farmlands, cities, wetlands, and oceans. Ecological restoration includes a wide scope of projects including erosion control, reforestation, removal of non-native species and weeds, revegetation of disturbed areas, daylighting streams, the reintroduction of native species, preferably native species that have local adaptation, repairing and replanting wetlands, creek beds, forest land and habitat, and range improvement. Passive ecological restoration is also an effective way of restoring the ecosystem. Passive restoration means simply allowing natural succession to occur in an ecosystem after removing a source of disturbance. The recovery of the deciduous forest in the eastern United States after the abandonment of agriculture is a classic example of passive restoration. Realistically speaking, it may take years to assess exactly how the COVID-19 pandemic has affected the wildlife, the environment and the climate and our ecosystems. Research suggests that reduction in some of the pollutants such as nitrogen oxide may result in the rise of others such as ozone. But for now, these positive changes are enough to give some people and Mother Nature the hope of a better future. Restoration initiatives can be launched by almost anyone, from governments and development agencies to businesses, communities and individuals. This is because the causes of degradation are many and varied and can have an impact at different scales. Ecosystem degradation may result from harmful policies such as subsidies for intensive farming or weak tenure laws that encourage deforestation. Lakes and coastlines can become polluted due to poor waste management or an industrial accident. Commercial pressures leave towns and cities with too much asphalt and too few green spaces. It also results in economic loss. Restoring ecosystems, large and small, protects and improves the livelihoods of people who depend on them. It also helps to regulate disease and reduce the risk of natural disasters. Restoration also has great economic benefits. The economic benefits of such interventions exceed nine times the cost of investment, whereas inaction is at least three times costlier than ecosystem restoration. In fact, Restoration can help us achieve all of the sustainable development goals. In all cases, ecological restoration will improve the biological diversity on degraded landscapes, increase the population and distribution of rare and threatened species, enhance landscape connectivity, increase the availability of environmental goods and services, and contribute to the improvement of human well-being. Conserving ecosystems guarantees the very existence of every animal and plant species on Earth. The natural world consists of various complex interactions between different ecosystems. Without maintaining a balance between the ecosystems, we won't survive. Our ecosystems have always borne the load of our harmful activities and at all times given in to our needs. So this World Environment Day, let us all take a pledge to restore, conserve, nurture and love our Mother Earth.